guys, so I'm back with another tutorial for you, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do this holiday look. It's perfect if you're trying to go out to a holiday party and want to get really fancy with it. Um, it's essentially just a cut crease with gold pigments on the lid along with some brown pigment and um, some black and brown matte eyeshadows for the crease. This look in particular is a little more challenging just because it requires blending. So it's going to be a little more time consuming and you have to be really patient when it comes to blending. So in this video, I'm going to take you step by step on what you need to do and where to concentrate certain colors, stuff like that. Alright, so here's the tutorial. Okay, so to start off, you're going to need a base. You can either use eyeshadow primer or concealer. I'm going to be using some concealer from Bitch Slap Cosmetics. And this is in light, in case you're wondering. And then you're just going to put that all over your eye, all the way up to your eyebrow. So once you have your base all set and done, I'm going to be putting on this pigment by Bella Pierre. And this is number 17 Celebration. And it's basically just a coppery gold color. So whenever I use pigments, I prefer to mix it with something. So I'm going to be using it with the MAC Fix Plus how you use this is basically just spray it on any surface and then you're gonna take any flat eyeshadow brush and then you're just gonna dab it into the MAC Fix Plus and then into the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that looks. And we're basically gonna be putting this color from the inside all the way till about the middle but just leave a little section right there at the end um, because we're going to be putting another pigment there. So as you can see right there, it's kind of like that liquid gold texture. And try to bring it up so it's a little above your crease. So the pigment we're going to be putting on the outer part of our lid is going to be this pigment from NYX. And it's basically a dark brown pigment. Uh, it has a little bit of glitter in it too. And then I'm just going to dip my brush again into that MAC Fix Plus and then into the pigment. So when you take this, make sure you start on the outer corner and just kind of sweep it in and try to blend the two colors together. And then what I like to do sometimes is once I have the pigments on there with the MAC Fix Plus, I just like to put a layer of the regular pigment over it without any um, without any MAC Fix Plus. And then you're just going to put that pigment right over where you just placed it. So like I just did with the brown pigment, I'm just going to take that gold pigment again, just go over that original color. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the pigments with this look. So next we're going to be drawing on a crease. So I'm going to be using this palette I have from Bitch Slap Cosmetics. I actually got this one at a discount because, as you can see, some of the eyeshadows are missing. Um, this originally sold for around $40 and I got it for like $25, I think. What's really great about this palette too is it has like crazy colors you don't normally see in a lot of palettes. So it really gives you a chance to play around with it and um, come up with a lot of diverse looks. I'm going to be taking this matte black color right here. A good dupe for this would actually be Carbon from MAC. So I'm going to be taking this small concentrated eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take some of that black. and. I'm essentially just going to be drawing on my crease and one trick I like to do is just to draw it a little above where my actual crease is and for me I actually don't have that much lid space so it's better to start higher just so you can see that pigment on the lid. So I'm going to start on the outer part of my eye and just start to draw a black line. And while you're doing this, make sure you have a light hand and just slowly sweep it in. And then what I'm also going to do is just connect the end of that black line 
to the corner of my eye. Okay, so when you're done, it should look something like that. All right, so next I'm gonna be taking this matte brown color. So you can use any brown eyeshadow basically. Just make sure it's matte and doesn't have any shimmer in it. I'm gonna be taking it with this flat ended eyeshadow brush and it's kind of at an angle too. So I'm gonna take the brown eyeshadow on this and I'm basically gonna start from the outside and just sweep it in and make sure to concentrate this color right above the black. You don't want to put it right on top of the black, just bring it right above. So this is what it should look like so far. You're taking the brown all the way in. Okay, so this next step requires a lot of blending, so make sure you're really patient with it and take your time. Because sometimes if you over rush blending, it can turn out really messy. So just take your time with it. And I'm going to be taking the regular flat eyeshadow brush. And essentially what I'm going to be doing is taking that black and kind of blend it up towards the brown. So I'm going to take this brush and just dab a little bit of black on it. You're kind of bringing it right on top of that black again. And then you're blending it. So just a little tip for blending eyeshadows, make sure whenever you do, you have good solid lighting. Preferably natural light is the best. And also whenever you're blending, make sure to always retouch colors if you see it start to fade out a little bit. When I'm going to be blending this black color, the brown might start to fade away a little bit. So if that starts to happen, I'm just going to put another layer of brown on top. Okay, so once I blended in that black, I'm just going to take that flat top angled eyeshadow brush again. And then I'm going to take that matte brown again and just go over the crease. So just another note on retouching. I went ahead and put another um, layer of black just to define that line a little bit more between the pigment and where the black starts. So just make sure whenever you're doing a cut crease look to always touch up on that line um, between the two colors just so it's more defined and not so blended. Okay, so for the bottom part of the eye, I'm going to go ahead and take that flat eyeshadow brush again and I'm going to be taking this matte brown right here and I'm going to be taking that all under my eye. So just get it right near the lashes and bring it all the way in. So just to intensify that a little bit more, I'm going to take this black coal liner from Kat Von D and it's just pure black eyeliner. And I'm going to take this all under the waterline and a little bit on the outer corner right under the eye. So next I'm going to be taking this liquid liner from NYC and I'm just going to draw a wing at the end and bring it all along the lash line. And try to have the wing end right where the black starts so just make sure the points around that area. Okay, so the final step is to put on mascara on the top and bottom lashes. I'm going to be putting on false lashes, just so you know. For this look specifically, I would probably recommend wearing false lashes, just because the look's already so dramatic that it would just make the look more complete if there was, you know, full-on, really bold lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on, and I'll be right back. All right, so that's about it for this holiday look tutorial. I really encourage you guys to try it out, especially if you're going out for a night out on the town or going to a holiday party. It's perfect for a special occasion. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.